No. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to the video. Uh, we're out for a, a walk in the woods today and uh, it's uh, early spring so uh, the leaves are starting to come back out on the trees and um, bluebells are starting to come out and wild garlic is starting to come out so I'm hoping we might get some, thing, some things like that uh, today. Uh, being early spring there's not a lot going on in the canopy at the moment. Um, the leaves are still in bud so um, I don't know, bright sunlight might be a problem, might not, but we'll have a look. So hopefully you'll stick with me for the next 10 minutes or so and we'll see what images we can get in the woodlands. I mean, this is what we've got going on. A bit pointless showing the back of the camera. But that's pretty much what we've got going on with the stump just coming in there and the water leading off and filling this part of the frame just into the left hand side. So hopefully uh, we can get enough uh, sunlight just to pick up on these uh, little fellas just in the corner there and hopefully it'll be a pleasing image. going on just here. Um, hopefully you can hear me over the waterfall but um, this is a nice bit of foreground we've got this rock that's got a lovely bit of uh, growth on it mosses and uh, buttercups and various other bits and pieces coming on there uh, which is lovely and what we've got is we've got the waterfall slap bang in the centre and what I've done is I've framed it with these uh, this bit of foliage and stuff either side of the frame and then it's leading back up and where the sun is catching in the background there it's shining up everything, it's a nice gold in the greeny glow just up in the back corner there. So um, I've done a photo, um, a focus stack again, uh, once just to pick up some detail in the flowers at the front. Uh, so I've focused at the front of the rock and the, the middle of the rock. I've focused on the foliage either side and I've also taken one for the waterfall and at the back, so I'd like to show some detail at the back. Um, so what, we, what I've settled with 
is uh, an eighth of a second because I want a bit of movement in the water because uh, I quite like that uh, the way the water comes over and it gives that creamy sort of look um, and I'm going at f9 that seems to be a sweet spot for my 24mm lens um, at ISO 200 because it's so uh, we're in a bit of a dell here really I, I guess that's what you would call it and again we've got quite a bit of uh, problem with the dynamic range because of the sun uh, and everything coming through so I've got my polarizer on just to take some reflection out of the rocks uh, and I've also uh, within the polarizer it's also an ND filter as well so I've just t turned that up a little bit just so that I could achieve the slow shutter speed that I want for the waterfall effect so uh, hopefully we can uh, uh, that's come out all right and I'll stick that uh, on the screen for you now I've a couple of images from this uh, location now. I've just scooted myself around uh, about a metre or so from the last image. Uh, and I saw this composition where I've got the tree cut in front of the waterfall. Now, I'm not sure whether it works or not because I think where the waterfall comes down over goes behind the tree and then obviously you've got the runoff uh, from the water going around the other side of the tree. I'm not sure whether that's too distracting or not. But what I'll do is I'll put the, both the uh, pictures up for you now just so you can see um, which one looks more balanced because obviously you've got the rule of thirds and all those sorts of things that you look at and I wasn't sure whether the tree was strong enough to be the subject or part of the subject of this uh, picture or whether just that runoff just dis detracts from it just a fraction um, I'm not too sure I need to make up my mind so um, I'll put that up for you now and uh, I'll let you see uh, uh, see what you think anything but it was just nice to find a couple of those waterfalls today um, I'm hoping they would have uh, come out okay um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the images that I put up um, I'm gonna I'm about an hour away from home now so I'm gonna head back uh, there's a couple of locations I'm gonna scout uh, on the way if there's anything I'll probably uh, add a tack on to this video but uh, only a short one this time like I said I hadn't planned anything uh, if you have liked any of the images that uh, you've seen today, if you'd like to leave a, a like and subscribe, uh, all those sorts of things, that'd be fantastic. It helps the, the channel out and gets it seen. Um, other than that, uh, I'll see you next time around. Bye for now. Well, on my way home, I noticed the cloud formations were rather nice and the sun was going down. And I thought to myself, well, if we could get to some high ground, we might be able to get a nice shot just around off the day. So I've gone about 25 minutes out of my way of the motorway and I've come to Ilkley Moor. I've never been here before. I've not done any scouting for it. I've not done any research or anything like that. So I'm not sure if I'm being foolish or not. So we should see. I'm. Uh, just trying to find myself a uh, subject 
to have in the foreground and being followed by some grouse. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so yeah, so hopefully it should run, hopefully it should round off a nice day of photography if we can get a nice sunset. Now, as I said just now, the, the clouds were looking really, really nice. But I'm not so sure anymore as they're going from in front of me to behind me. And the sky is looking rather flat or clear, I should say. But I don't know, we're about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that from sunset. And so we'll see what we can get. That might give us time just to look for something. So I'll come back in a sec. Okay, well I've just framed up a shot. Um, I went up to the top of the moor, so there's not a lot of uh, anything that I can use really for uh, detail or for foreground interest. So I've just come off to the side where there's a lot of uh, stones. And as you can see, if I turn yourself around. Now the shot that I've got is taking into consideration these rocks here and the sun in the, in the background the sunset's going down I reckon it'll be down in about 15-20 minutes and at the moment obviously all the highlights are all being blown out um, because of the sun uh, but what I've done is I've taken um, uh, three shots at the moment uh, basically bracketing to allow for the sun so obviously it makes the, the sky very dark uh, and then we can uh, combine that with the images of the foreground and hopefully we get a decent uh, colourful balanced image but what I am hoping for is if we look behind me over here, we've got the rocks and these are the clouds which I saw coming in. Now, obviously they've come from the front, they've come to the back, so the sky is, there's nothing much going on in the sky. So it's almost, almost feels like a waste of time, but um, hopefully not, hopefully you'll be surprised uh, at this one. Um, so I'm setting up the shot now just to take, take uh, into, um, to make the use of the sun going down. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and hopefully we can get something decent from that. Um, but then I'm hoping that the sun will light up all the decent clouds, which are just over my back of my shoulder there. Uh, and hopefully they'll go a nice orangey pink and we can use some of these stones that we've got here uh, around in this section and over here, combining that with any detail that we've got going on in the sky there. I'm hoping that might be the shot that makes it worth it. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna sit back, just relax for 10 minutes or so, and yeah, enjoy photography. And that's it in a heartbeat it's all done now the clouds on the and the uh, distance there are not playing ball so i don't think we're going to get much color from there the clouds behind they have obviously moved on a little bit there was a little bit of pink there uh, so i managed to take an image of that but uh well i'm not sure whether it will come out or not it looks like it might do but again i didn't really haven't been able to scout out this area too well and we've got these lovely rocks and stuff as you can see here which uh, do prove uh quite interesting as a foreground but in my mind i had a, a tree i've always got to have a tree trees are good 
but yeah so i'll obviously come back here again at some point um i spoke to a, a gentleman just up the way there he's uh, just on his uh, he's just started his journey of photography so i'm wishing him all the best i uh, had a nice chat with him and uh he's doing seems to be enjoying everything uh so far so good so uh that's all good well i'm gonna pack up all my gear and i'm gonna head back to the car now and uh time to get something to eat i think so uh, yeah, if you've liked uh, today's little uh, excursion, uh, please uh, give us a like and uh, subscribe. Uh, that really helps the channel and uh, helps for it to get out to other people as well. So uh, it'd be nice. Okay, so uh, I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now.